Three days ago, YouTuber Lockpicking Lawyer posted a video showing how the Simply Safe security system could be bypassed by one of these. This is a very inexpensive 433 MHz uh, key fob. So it's basically just sending out a signal that overrides the sensors. So the sensors can't detect whether or not they've been uh, breached. So today we're going to test uh, two sensors. We're going to test two door sensors. The second type of sensor that we're going to test is going to be a motion sensor. So we're going to put the system into away mode so that we can get the motion sensor uh, enabled. Uh, since Simply Safe had some concerns about the uh, legitimacy of the uh, lockpicking lawyer video, hopefully this should put some of those concerns to rest. So right now we're going to set my system into away mode. Okay, we've got one minute to leave the house. Let's go ahead and do that now. And then on our way in, we're going to go ahead and push one of these buttons and uh, we're going to go into ninja mode. Okay, we're going to actually go out the back door. Okay. And we're just simply going to wait it out. So, um, what I would recommend for your security system while we're out here talking anyway is uh, get yourself some. Go get yourself some dogs, okay? We'll start with there. Make, make sure you get some big, nasty-looking, loud dogs that just drive you crazy because of their barking. That's step number one, I guess. Uh, number two, let's go ahead and uh, get some uh, some cameras around the house. Uh, I agree with lockpicking lawyer, cameras are a great idea. Um, and also, not posting any of the uh, any of the notices that uh, you're being monitored by a specific company. That's uh, that's kind of given away the problem. So, all right, so it's, it's been about a minute, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and go into ninja mode now. I'm just going to push this button. Any one of these four buttons would work, though. So, so here we go. Uh, camera's going to get a little shaky because I'm trying to do multiple things with all of my hands simultaneously. Here we go. Okay, system is still in alarm on mode. Can't really see without the backlight, but it does say alarm on. And uh, just for good measure, we're also going to open up this second door here. I've already opened the one door. Here's the other door. Okay. Do it again. Open it wider this time. Okay. Doesn't matter. You're now invisible. All right. Let's uh, let's go test out the uh, the motion sensor. I'm not doing anything specific with this. All I'm doing is just pushing and holding the, the button. There's the motion sensor. Okay. It's just a temporary location just for this video. Here's me shaking my booty right in front of this thing. It's not seeing me. That's because I'm invisible. Okay. So there it is, guys. There's absolute definitive proof that the Sisby Safe system can be hacked by this little unit right here. So I'm now going to turn this thing off. Okay, We're back into normal mode. I'm now going to disable the system. Can't show you the pin though. That wouldn't be a very good idea. Alarm off. Okay, so now we are in alarm off mode. Simply Safe did issue a statement against lockpicking lawyers video. Here you'll see my analysis depicted like a fact checker. So red means it's false as far as I can tell. Yellow is somewhat true and green means true. So feel free to pause the video if you want to digest this. Otherwise, let's move on. Okay, so we've moved the party out to my car. We're going to test if other remote controls interfere with my garage door opener. Just to kind of see if the principle still applies. So I'm going to be testing my, uh, my family member's Craftsman 315 megahertz controller. They don't know that I'm borrowing it, so surprise, family member! Okay, so here we go. I'm pushing their button right now. Again, their button does not belong to my garage door, and I push my button, and my garage door is going up. I'm still keeping their garage door depressed, and the garage door goes down. So uh, I've actually doubled the test. Here's a, another one. This is a, uh, looks like it's GTO branded. I don't see any other real interesting uh, 
frequency designations here. But I'm going to push this one. The red light's going to come on, and we're going to repeat the test. The garage door still goes up. The button's depressed the entire time. I push it. The garage door stops. Push it a second time. It goes down. So, uh, simply safe. Perhaps that might help you design a better system if you're able to replicate something like that with yours. All right, so to wrap it up, let's get all the disclaimers out of the way. I'm not affiliated with Amazon. I'm not affiliated with any of these key fobs that you're going to find on Amazon. I'm not affiliate linking anything. Um, I'm not involved or a part of or doing any business with any other security system. Um, I'm just a guy that's using Simply Safe that was under the impression that I was safe. I'm actually going to put a link in the description of the video of this exact unit. Uh, again, any unit that does 433 megahertz should work, um, but I'm putting that link on there not to make the world a less secure place, but to make it a more secure place. Right now, if you trust that you're secure with Simply Safe, keep in mind that you know any bad guy with you know six dollars to blow on you know Amazon and Prime shipping can basically get in your house without consequences in like literally two days. So something to think about. Uh, Simply Safe, I think you have the ability to push out fixes remotely. This is one I would recommend you fixing. And uh, please don't attack the messenger here. We're trying to improve your product. I personally am a very happy Simply Safe customer. It may not look at it like it right now. I get that. But I've uh, been, been with you guys for a number of years would like to continue my investment because I did spend a good deal of money uh, on the equipment. I've got uh, a number of sensors, more than just the ones that we've shown here in this video today. And I'd rather keep on with your service rather than pitching it to find somebody else that will take better care of me. And I, I think the other customers probably feel the same way. I feel compelled so much that I'm spending my Saturday in my pajamas showing my messy house to a whole bunch of internet strangers. So uh, apologize for the messiness. Uh, the maid's been sick. If you like that video, perhaps you'll like one of my other ones. Here's a short smattering of what I've been up to so far. Maybe I'll see you in a future episode. Bye-bye.